Hey everyone, welcome to the Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Marsh Bricker. I'm Ian Fuego here. We're going to do some trailer reactions, and the first one we're going to do is one that's been requested. This is the new trailer for Midsommar, ah. which is Ari Aster's next movie, the guy behind Hereditary. Yes. Yeah! Now, I was relatively unimpressed with the first trailer, Same. and oh, really? uninterested, so... Mm. Didn't watch it, so I don't know. Yeah, we'll find out. Did you how see you think Hereditary Martian? I, I did. Well, we did the commentary with a That's not, dipstick. I don't remember. All right, so, <laughs> all right, we're gonna put this on and. Ooh, eight twenty four again. No, Favorite. No, uh, oh my god! I hope you would like you know. All right, so yeah, here we go. Look at that logo. In it's so three, artsy. two, one, go. I told you that I want to go to that festival in Sweden. No, oh, you said it would be cool to go. Yeah, and then I got the opportunity and I decided Look, I to do it. I don't mind you going. I just wish you would have told me. That's all. You just said. <laughs> Dude, she needs a therapist. You've been wanting out of this stupid relationship for like a year. That now. guy. Yeah, it's mm. like. And don't forget about all of the beautiful Swedish women you'll meet in June. Okay, guys. That's not her again. That's seriously, Walter, right? Babe, what's happening? Danny. I was so very sorry to hear about what happened. I'm sorry. What the hell? I invited Danny to come to Sweden. You know what she's been going through. Christian says you've got this special week planned. Yeah, that is full culture. It's sort of a crazy festival. Special ceremonies and dressing up. That sounds fun. Huh. On. Unbelievable. Welcome and happy midsummer. School. What time is it? 9 p.m. That can't be right. The sky is blue. This is what 9 p.m. is like here. Oops. Mm. That's weird. <laughs> <coughs> Do your research, y'all. You been together? Just over three and a half years. Four years. Really? Yeah. Deal. <laughs> what do you think? It's like another world. Tomorrow's a big day. Is it scary? What is it? It has special properties. I would what be very am I leery. going through? We just need to acclimate. I don't want to acclimate. I want to go. Absolutely not. What's happening? I don't know why you invited us. That's why you look so guilty right now, because you know. We only do this every 90 years. I was most excited for you to come. I'm kind of confused. It's a more interesting trailer than last time, at least. A little bit. But... I thought... That it was a film festival that it, he was going to, not no. a retreat. No, it's like a retreat. I yeah, missed that. It was though. meant to be like a. I don't know if it's. Oh, it's just supposed to be a festival. festival. Or like, yeah, like okay. A, I just thought film festival. I guess okay. No, like a music kind just of thing a, or just a festival. Yeah, something like that. Some sort of Swedish festival. So I, I think there's some misrepresentation going on here, though. Obviously, by this dude who recruits to bring them in. So yeah, yeah I uh, I don't know. It's. Again, this this trailer made it mildly more interesting to me, so I, I'm at least more on board to see it in the theater. Again, knowing what Ari Aster can do just after Hereditary, I am more on board to see what I don't expect to get out of this uh, than I am to get what I expect out of it based on the trailer. So um, I, I'm, I'm really interested based on the director more so than what I'm seeing here, but um, yeah, I don't know. That's my thoughts. Marcia? This really feels like A24, <laughs> like A24 at its a 24 I don't know. Um, it's in fabric. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just, it, I'm not into it. I'm just like, okay, we got the cult vibe from Hereditary. Spoiler, if you haven't watched it yet. Um, mm -hmm. But, and I just like head on like, hey, this is a cult and we're going to be doing shit to you. So I don't know if it's going to be. They're going to be able to offer anything that I'm going to be really into because I'm not into, I'm not feeling it. Hmm. Fuego? Uh, Marcia knows especially my love for A24 and we don't always see eye on it, but I'm not, I'm still not 
digging this so much, really? guys. Yeah, I'm not. I don't know if it's the fact that I, I'm just getting such a Wicker Man vibe from it. Uh, I mean, visually it looks great. The performances don't look too bad. But I'm just not feeling that, I don't know, that sense of just like foreboding creepiness that I think the trailer is wanting to give off. I, I'm just not... I don't know. Some of the flashy imagery at the very end when you know they're tripping out and where I, I couldn't tell what that was that they were carving up like corpse wise if it was an animal or it looked like a, it was bear. a person or something. But I mean, it yeah, it does bear. look like a big animal now. I'm seeing another another shot of it. But I don't know. I'm just not feeling the ominousness that I know this trailer is trying to put forth. But I, I'm still very curious about it. And a, a similar reaction that we had to the previous trailer, I based on Ari's talent on display in Hereditary. I'm sure this is going to be very interesting, but I just story-wise, so far, it's not doing much for me. So, yeah, yeah I don't know. It's it's kind of interesting, guys. I mean, I, I a lot of people are really into it. They're really loving it, but it's just not tickling our fancy. And look, film is subjective. That yeah. we've said it here a million times, but this just isn't something that's interesting to us. And I'm not sure. I, you, can, you know. Blame us if you want. Say it's our fault if you want, but it's the oh, subject wow. matter that we're just not really reacting to. I mean, maybe these kinds of horror movies just aren't our favorite kinds of horror movies, and so we need a little bit more out of it, or at least a little bit more out of the trailer to want us to get to go and see it. Again, I know we will because you know we 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 try and keep up on all the new horror stuff, and this is going to be a temple release. So. <clears throat> this again. Sometimes these trailers are encouraging. Again, knowing what Ari Aster can do, the fact that we're not seeing an awful lot mm -hmm. means that he's hiding a lot of the stuff that's really going to mess with us. Which is why I'm trying to just be like, hey, I, I, I trust the guy because he, you know, but I mean, sophomore slump, who knows? You never know. Yeah, maybe. A lot of the problem also comes from the fact that most horror movies we know have nighttime scenes. Mm -hmm. And in the entirety of this trailer, I don't think we get one. It's all daytime. So no, it's... Cause I think that's the point, too. They even say, like, it's 9 p.m., but it's... Yeah. Well, I know, but but maybe it's not scary partially oh. because of that. You know what I mean? Like, you're not feeling the ominous because it's not right, in the Right, they can't hide as much because it's not in the dark, so... Maybe that's what The makes daytime it even... is much more unforgiving when it comes to being a scary movie. Mm -hmm. so. But maybe that's the challenge, too. Like, well, it absolutely is. Yeah, challenge. like, yeah. can you make... Make it like, well, there's some night in here, but mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And maybe I'll probably, and what will probably happen, I'll wait until you guys watch it and then I'll decide <laughs> if enough. I'm going to watch it. Just like her to be forewarned. Okay. <laughs> Aren't yeah. you glad you did that for her, I tell you? I, I was happy. And so. I mean, that's a good movie. You I, should have seen that at first. I loved, the, I loved it. And that's a lot saying, you know, that's a lot coming from me because I wasn't expecting to like it. It's an A24 movie. Mm -hmm. I am very bias against a24 movies because they've let me down so many times and to see a trailer that i'm not really into doesn't give me high expectations so maybe i would like be able to watch it without any expectations and enjoy it for what it is and but... often that's a better approach anyway if if you can yeah i, mean... I don't know Look this, at the creepy we got the, sea monster in that painting. Yeah, oh, we got a stage cool. five. Yeah, look at eating that. all those people. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Got a stage five <clears throat> clinger. Yeah. Wait, sweet. That, is that, you think that that's that uh, might have some sort of weird Is painting. that something that we're going to see? Check that out, though. Is that something we're going to see? It's pretty rad. Because, I mean, it's a, I mean, there, we didn't see any ocean or anything, but, damn, what, what? Oh, it's a Leah Pluridon, though. Hmm. Or... It's yeah. a, it's one of those prehistoric dinosaurs. Uh, maybe, that could maybe be that's interesting. If, there. if it was something like a maybe um, they're sacrificing. To oh man, I wish Loch it was a creature movie. Something. That'd be great. I doubt it though. Well, yeah, yeah, the one where they were killing the people and sacrificing them to the weird taff tree monster thing. Mm. The, the Netflix movie. God, why is the title eluding me? Treehouse. Oh, the oh, ritual. That's Hulu. The ritual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all right, Will guys. Coulter, the kid who was supposed to be Pennywise, and he got replaced. <laughs> well, by... the kid who's the Joker on Gotham, but oh, he is. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, why don't you guys let us know in the comments down below what you got? I think so. No, no, no. Maybe I'm confusing the two. Probably. Hang on. This is either that kid or this is the kid from that, that Jennifer right we'll Jennifer play. Aniston movie. Yeah. He's from a movie. For he's sure. from the Jennifer Aniston movie. Oh, he's isn't been he? acting I'm confusing since he was him. really little. What's yeah, he no, he's... like? Can't hardly wait. No, 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 Jesus. No. Do you know how old that movie is at this that point? That movie's 22 years old now. <laughs> yeah, he's like 30. Yeah, yeah, he didn't age at all in the last 22 years. Well, no, no, isn't he the kid that was in that Jennifer Aniston and 
um, what's this nuts movie where they're in the Winnebago and uh, all right, well, oh, uh, me, oh, uh, the family one, yeah, where she has to pretend to be the mom and stuff, but she's actually the stripper. Yeah, the, we are the, the Joneses or something. We, yeah, we, we, are, we are the, the Millers. Millers. We, we are the Millers. Or yeah. and it was, it I was, think that was him. It was Su- oh, Sudeikis, maybe. not um, Jason Sudeikis. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah I couldn't think of his name. Oh, okay. All right, so yeah, anyway, yeah, he was in that. That's who, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, he was the the mousy kid. Yeah, okay, that's I confused him for the Joker guy. Okay. Cool. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's far. it. All right. But, uh, let us know in the comments. Down. I forgot we were ending this. Yeah. Let us know in the comments down below what you guys think of this trailer. I'm sure a lot of you guys really like it, but explain to us why. Why is it connecting with you so hard? Don't just yell at us for not connecting with us. Tell us why it connects with you so much. All right. Is it just the director? Is it A24? Yeah. Is I mean, is it really what you're seeing or is it just Do you that have you a girlfriend a that director? just doesn't get the hint? Like, I don't know. Well, okay. we caught a lot of crap when we weren't so hot on the last trailer for this film. So I'm cleaner. curious if we're going to get similar sure. reaction from people. So. All right. So let okay. us know in the comments down below. Until next time, I've been Cecil Laird. I'm Archbreaker. Press this up and have me fuego. And remember. Stay scared.